actually going to be doing a drop test with the Xperia Z. So, yeah, let, let's check this. Ready? All right. How do you know if it uh, if it fell on the front or the back? It fell on the front. It fell on the front. Yes. So this has a shatterproof sheet on there. And if you do happen to break it, at least you're able to keep the pieces inside the screen. And okay, let's... Hey, he has no fear here. He's just tossing it about like a piece of trash. But actually, it's quite a beautiful phone. This makes people angry when you do stuff like this. People get so, so upset. You're not going to be able to break it. No. <laughs> do you want to just... Come on, let, let, let's humor people. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Yeah, they will not tell me which glass is on this thing here, but I'm betting that it's not Corning's. I've done a lot of fun stuff with Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, is that bezel? What is what is this made of entirely? Is this a? It's a it's a, it's a glass fiber polymide. So glass kind of like fiber polymide. So is that just the glass, or is that the actual that's chassis? This, that's this exoskeleton here that you see wrapping around the entire device. Right. Nice. So that gives us its strength and, and part of its durability. And it seems that you've got a little bit of a lip here so that it doesn't uh, smack directly on that glass, which is really nice. So what happens then if you were to do it directly on the glass rather than on the... Uh... Not, not so bad. So yeah, this, this thing is uh, waterproof. You need to make sure that you're keeping the ports closed. Again, keep the ports closed. Oh, that was a question that I had. Maybe you know. Okay. So people are, are uh, I'm, I'm just wondering, what happens if you were to accidentally not close it all the way? I know it's going to damage it, but as far as a warranty, what do you think Sony would do if it was I, an accident? I can't really <laughs> comment on the warranty, but I, I can show you. We do have... Uh, it has a we have liquid damage indicators, right, so right, right. if you are negligent with your phone and don't close the, the flaps, we can't be responsible for anything that happens ah, beyond that. Yeah, that was my major question, because what if it was an accident or somebody didn't know? It's only rated for, for when, the, when the flaps are closed. So how do you market that specifically so people don't make this type of error? It's a really dumb error, honestly. Yeah, so but. actually... Uh, in the software itself, when yes. you you have the charging port open and yes. you're charging the device, oh, when, you, okay. when you unplug the phone, yes. it'll give you a pop-up sometimes. Uh, usually the first couple times that you charge the phone, it'll give you a pop-up warning give you, a pop -up you to let that you need to you close know. your flaps. Ah, is there any way to see that? I wasn't able to produce that because I can't pull that off. Uh, uh, I don't okay. think we can produce it live on this phone, but uh, one of the things that we do provide is actually a, a docking station so that we have these physical contacts here. Yes. So that obviously one of the most common things that you do with your phone is charge it. So we want to make it as easy as possible for you to not have to open this flap constantly. Right, right. So I really like that. We have a accessory over there that you can slide the phone into and it's going to charge in a dock. Ah. And I actually have one and I, I use it all the time. I, I like this. try not to open my flaps. <laughs> you try not to open your flaps. Yes, yeah, so I use Bluetooth and use my, uh, my charging cradle. So is there at any time that, that uh, the flaps will wear out or is it acting like Tupperware? Because after you've opened so it so are, many times. These are, these are very tough flaps. Yes. So they're not going to break. I mean, not necessarily break, but you know, once you open and close something several times, it uh, ends up losing its its uh, waterproof ability. That's true, but these have been tested for uh, the you know lifetime of a device. It'll, it'll, these these flaps will last through the lifetime of the device. Okay, so I just say two years opening it and closing it five times a day. Opening and closing, more or less. Yes, more or less. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, so. See if I can see myself here. This is a pretty cool device, you guys. Honestly, I've been playing with it for quite some time now, and I'm actually really loving it. Really, 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 really. Come on, press people. You better give me one.